We know that nationally and in Wyoming, about a quarter of all high school seniors are drinking. And when they do, in most cases, they are binge drinking. And we also know that alcohol can damage young brains that are still developing until their early 20s. Concerted efforts have been underway in Wyoming during the last decade to prevent underage drinking. I spoke earlier with Tracy Young of the Albany County Coalition to Prevent Substance Abuse about progress in this area. Tracy, was there a point in time that sticks out in your mind as to when Wyoming started to take underage drinking seriously? Um, I really think that um, 2004, um, our country really started looking at it as more of an epidemic, um, looking at college rates of drinking, and um, there, I think that's when they started to realize that some of these deaths on campuses were not just accidents, or um, they started to really look into binge drinking and what that led to. Um, and in 2006, Wyoming um, responded to a national call for, um, of action, and they called it kind of a blueprint. And then Wyoming did their own surveys and studies. And I think since then, it's been full speed ahead. Um, the, the leadership at the time in our government was amazing. Um, Governor Friedenthal and his wife, um, Mrs. Friedenthal, really took a lead on this. And the, um, the Wyoming First Ladies Initiative was a huge part of that. And she not only wanted to look at college age, but she wanted to look at um, childhood drinking and was finding that, um, you know, the younger these kids are starting, and we're finding that, you know, a large percentage of our kids are starting at 13, um, drinking in the home or with friends or, um, and so we're finding that the younger they start, the more likely they are to have alcoholism problems later in life. Um, and that being said, um, you know, that's why part of the reason that, that the age limit increased to 21 is because studies started back that long ago in the 80s, um, late 70s, that the younger you start drinking, the more likely you are to have issues with alcohol. It's true that um, children, tweens, drinking, their brain damage is taking place as they're doing this, which is why it's really not smart to lower, consider even lowering the drinking age. No, and there's a lot of studies that have helped us um, in the fight against underage drinking especially, and, and to answer some of the questions as to why 21 is a good age and why um, we really are working on underage drinking, and to fight that myth that it's a rite of passage, and it's okay because we did it. Um, there's so many studies now that show your brain develops until you're 25. And so when you're adding alcohol to an undeveloped brain, you're really taking away the potential of what you could be later in life. And um, there's some really great studies out there that show a brain of teenager that has used and one that hasn't. And it looks like a jello mold that you poured something over and it just ate holes through it. And so you know, the argument that, that it needs to be 18 or it's a rite of passage or it's okay really doesn't work anymore because physically it, it does affect our youth. So what are party patrols? It, it's, it sounds like just what it is. Um, police look for um, loud, they either get calls because a neighbor says that the house next door is having, um, it's loud music or, um, one of, the, one of the things we talk to a lot of WyoTech students and a lot of UW students, and we, we talk about don't let anybody outside of your house. You know, don't inv to invite the police to your party, um, the best things to do to invite them is have people outside urinating out in public, um, throwing up out in public. Um, if you have minors at your party um, or if you're, if you're charging at the door, that gets back pretty fast. And um, those are some of the things that our police are looking for, and they're, they're pretty easy to find in our community. Police can find them pretty quickly. Um, it does take a very large amount of our police force to do party patrol, so it's not, um, there are some other communities that have a little bit more um, police force or police to ratio of um, the population. Here in Laramie, our police spend a lot of time on alcohol issues, and so sometimes party patrols aren't the very first priority. But if they get a call about loud music or um, lots of people outside of a house that are disturbing the neighbors, then they always answer those calls. And they just go in and, you know, they look, they're looking for minors. And sadly enough, um, many times the police find somebody that's unconscious from drinking. And so in a way, party patrols are not only keeping minors from drinking, but a lot of times it ends up saving a life because we've got young people drinking um, at excessive rates and they end up in the hospital um, with a very high BAC. 
And just because you're underage or you're a minor, that doesn't mean you're off the hook. There are consequences if you're, not, if you're drinking underage, right? Yes, yes. Um, you know, our police are very um, strict with the minor in possession. And like I said, um, our officers here in Laramie, I mean, if you think about the job that they have, they're patrolling not only um, the students that come here from all over Wyoming and the region as well, they also have WireTech students that come from all over the country. And then a small percentage of LCCC students are also underage. And so our police not only have to deal with everyday crimes, but a lot of crimes that center around a very young population, 18 to 25 especially. And so their job ends up downtown, breaking up fights, um, DUIs, um, vandalism, um, a lot of those things. But 84% of our arrests here in Laramie are alcohol related. So if that tells you the percentage of um, problems that are caused by alcohol, and so they have a very big job and they do everything that they can. Um, we would love to have more officers that just work on alcohol issues, but that's a funding issue. Well, that explains <laughs> yeah. then why um, um, dis discouraging alcohol abuse is a high priority to the Laramie Police Department. I hadn't realized that before. I gotta ask you though, as a parent, I think one of my worst nightmares, and I have great kids, but it's always the, oh, I wanna go away for the weekend, but you know, what if these friends come over and there's alcohol and Am I going to get thrown in jail because it's going on in my home and I'm the adult? You know, what the, we do have what's called a party house ordinance, um, and it's specifically for um, anyone that's 21 or older that knows about the party. Um, teenagers will be teenagers in some senses, and in, in the sense that mom and dad are out of town, you may tell one or two people, and those one or two people may tell 20 people, and that alcohol may end up in a household that it was never intended, but a different group of friends heard that there was a place to be. And in those instances, our police do use discretion. I mean, if there's parents that are out of town and if they call the parents and the parents are shocked and really are gonna do everything and say, thank you for taking care of my house, thank you, it, it's different. But we do have parents and we do have 21 year olds and up um, that have parties for minors. And those are the people that we are trying to stop. Those are the people that we don't want to supply to our youth and provide a dwelling. Um, that's part of the language in the ordinance actually is providing a dwelling for minors. And so it is on a case by case basis, but I know our PD has prosecuted parents that very, very much knew about the party. And they knew that there was adult or minors in their house drinking. And they can be fined up to 750 per minor in their house, as well as six months per minor. And there has been several cases in Laramie where they've been prosecuted um, maybe not to the, ex the maximum, that's not, but, but they have been fined, um, I want to say it was like $400 a minor, you know, mm -hmm. so you have, you know, 20 kids in your house, that's going to add up. Real quick, because we're, we're out of time, but um, what works the best in terms of preventing underage drinking, and uh, what does the trend look like now? You know, the best thing that we have found, especially in Laramie, and I think everybody statewide is working on this, is that you have to approach it from every, the law enforcement have to be involved, and in our case, the university has to be involved, the high school has to be involved, the grade schools, the junior high, we all have to work together. And we need programs in our schools that teach them about making good choices, and not just around alcohol, but just making those good choices. We need parents to be responsible and make good choices around use and abuse. Um, and we need um, to look at our environment as a whole, and really support our youth in making good choices. And I, you can't, there's not just one magical, you know, change. We've made a lot of changes here in Laramie. We work on DUIs, we work on binge drinking, we work on underage drinking. I think you have to work on all of it. Tracy Young from the Albany County Coalition to Prevent Substance Abuse. Thanks a lot for joining us. Thanks.